I graduated from the University of Iowa in 1982 with a degree in marketing and knew that Waterloo wasn't a place that I could go back to just because it was so depressed and uh, knew that I needed to try to find a community that had a little more diversification in it. Uh, so I looked at Minneapolis, Chicago, and Kansas City. I didn't have any connections to any of the three, uh, but knew I liked warmer weather and uh, so it was pretty much Kansas City all the way for me. Uh, Kansas City is uh, uh, a very diverse community. Uh, the really nice part about it is, is it's not heavily reliant on one industry, which was important to me. We have a few large companies, but it's not a Fortune 500 type of town. It's a privately held business town. That diversification to me is really important from the standpoint that uh, it provides stability. Uh, the ups and downs aren't as steep, uh, and uh, that to me is, is something I was looking for at the time. A little bit about what uh, provides that uh, platform, I guess, for all the family-held businesses in Kansas City is something that I discovered um, as I was uh, getting out of school, and that was some of the places that I would go to were a little more provincial, than Kansas City. Kansas City was a little bit more open to people from outside of Kansas City, particularly as you get into the South Johnson County area or on the Missouri side, the Lee Summit markets. Um, most of the people that are from these areas aren't from here originally. It is a melting pot and, and uh, the people that you meet and the people that you come across in town here are phenomenal and they're from all over and everybody's very accepting and everybody's very welcoming and that creates an environment that if you're moving in from Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, wherever you're coming from, uh, it's a it's a, an environment that's very conducive to somebody coming in from the outside being able to grow a business here. The smaller businesses have, have really done well around the larger uh, companies in town. You know, I went back to that printing industry stuff that I was doing and a large part of that was due to the fact that the bank wanted to find more businesses that supported Allmark um, because those businesses were healthy, um, they were labor intensive, they were capital intensive, they were material intensive, all things that a bank likes to see from a customer. The collateral holds its value really well, so they said go find more of that. Um, when you think about that, all of the different technology companies, all the engineering firms that are here, the smaller companies that are technology related, um, uh, service related businesses that support other businesses like Garmin, like uh, Sprint, like uh, Hallmark, Black & Veatch. You've got uh, a heavy, heavy amount of industry that it calls upon our local businesses to support them. And they also know that that isn't the concentration that that uh, that they need to be focused on. They need to be diversified so that they can find other business as well and not be subject to the whims of any one particular company. We're not a Fortune 500 town. There are a lot of Fortune 500 towns that ebb and flow on the economy. Kansas City doesn't do that. It's more steady. Uh, it's able to withstand things. Um, uh, it's a very resilient community with resilient businesses and business owners.